the rise of Katsumi throughout the Bucky story was quite slow. He was introduced in the Maximum Tournament with a very decent amount of hype around him, mainly from the likes of Doppo Orochi being the one who's going to surpass him and just being built different in various ways. For example, at 5 years old, Katsumi was facing an elephant in a tug of war contest and doesn't seem to be outright losing in this battle. Also getting a little scene of him destroying the new Yashe at the start of the Maximum Tournament just to build him up as one of the main characters opposing Baki during this tournament. And then to add on to this hype, he was actually able to defeat Haniyama in the Maximum Tournament. This wasn't an easy fight by any means as expected from facing someone like Haniyama. With a lot of people arguing the only reason Katsumi won this fight is due to Haniyama's fighting style, which when reading the fight could very well be the case, but regardless he was able to defeat him. Then when it came to his next main fight, he had Retsu, which destroyed him who opposed him in pretty much every way possible at this point and demonstrated his superiority in their fight. However, some people in the fandom actually claim Katsumi was close to winning this fight. For an example, if he was able to land this blow before Retsu landed his attack, he may have actually won. But of course, that is stretching the story quite a bit. And if you look at the next arc with Retsu and Katsumi sparring, demonstrating once again that Retsu at this point in the story is the superior one. Bringing us to I guess the first downfall of Katsumi before his actual rise. The next time we see him is in the prisoner arc. This was okay but honestly not the best for Katsumi. He kinda got clowned on by Dorian but Dorian was a menace throughout the whole arc. He did give Doyle quite an insane beating however, so that does add points to Katsumi. But as a whole, throughout the prisoner arc, I would say he's pretty neutral, doesn't get portrayed as some type of god, or doesn't get portrayed as absolute trash, nothing like that. From there, we have a decently long break from seeing him in the manga, until we finally arrive at the pickle arc, with the Yudro disrespecting scene, something very important for his growth. Let's go over it quickly. During the big pickle meeting scene, Yudra Hanma arrives and begins talking shit right away, calling everyone a bunch of pathetic losers, resulting in Katsumi to begin acting tough and tell Yudro to repeat what he said. And then Yudro just looks at him and says this, No wonder why no one, even me, Bucky, even your own father wants to fight seriously with you because you are reckless and unaware of the consequences. Resulting in Katsumi to actually be stunned and just look at Doppo's face here from what Yujiro said. Loki Yujiro just spitting facts at this point. He continues to talk more shit about Katsumi, resulting in him to rage out and actually throw an attack at Yujiro. Which of course, Doppo straight away looks down, he knows what's coming. Katsumi gets absolutely clowned on in this scene here. Yudro proceeds to, you know, have that whole interaction with Pickle, but this is Katsumi at the start of the Pickle arc, pretty much in the mud. However, this is also the scene that marks as the starting point for the most growth we've ever seen from Katsumi in the story. He becomes impacted greatly from the aftermath of Retsu's fight with Pickle, with Retsu losing one of his legs, continuing to train with Retsu, and even the likes of Kaku Kaio making an appearance to also help Katsumi with his training, getting all this preparation, mastering stuff that not even Kaku would be able to do, and once again reinstating how gifted Katsumi actually is, something that was highlighted in his initial introduction during the Maximum Tournament, but once again just a reminder of who Katsumi is, giving us his fight with Pickle now. This is where he was able to shine the most he ever has in the whole Bucky story. He was able to perform much better against Pickle than the likes of Retsu did. We have statements from Kaku saying that he would rather die than fighting the Pickle Katsumi is facing. With Katsumi performing decently well in comparison to Retsu, however this is Pickle we're talking about. He was defeated and as a result he lost his arm in this fight. However, that isn't the end of Katsumi. Yes, he lost his arm, as such he didn't do anything throughout the Masashi arc, didn't even get a chance to actually fight Masashi. It was believed at this point that Katsumi had reached his peak, 
There's an argument to say he surpassed Retsu and surpassed Kaku during his pickle fight, at least at his peak during that fight considering these panels on screen now. Take note, I'll be going over spoilers for more so recent stuff in the manga now. Subscribe for more Bucky content, that's what I provide on the channel. So as we know, Retsu died in the Musashi arc by the hands of Musashi, which allowed Katsumi to actually get Retsu's arm in the Sumo arc allowing him to combine his karate and Chinese Kenpo together and for Retsu to actually live on in the story through Katsumi as well as we get to see throughout these scenes. When it comes to his sumo fight, he pretty much would have absolutely destroyed his opponent and may have actually killed him if he landed this attack. However, he didn't want to do that but already demonstrated that once getting Retsu's arm, He's now reaching a degree of power we've never seen before. Also take note, the Retsu arm he actually got was from a much stronger Retsu compared to the Pickle arc, as prior to fighting Masashi, he also got training from Kaku learning these super broken techniques. Even though Katsumi doesn't know them, Retsu's arm is able to take control on its own to some degree with the use of Chinese Kenpo. So once Katsumi is able to fully combine these two together, he is going to be quite broken. And to actually see that, we already have a fight set up in the manga for the future of the story. The Jack arc is currently occurring and he has called out pretty much most fighters, which actually includes Katsumi. So the current new and improved Jack versus the new and improved Katsumi will be a main fight we get to see sometime in the future of the Bucky manga. Katsumi combining all these years of development alongside Retsu and now even using Retsu's arm as an extension of his own power. It's going to be pretty hype to see. Of course, I'm still on Jack's side and I believe he's going to win. However, I wouldn't put Katsumi on the lower end. I think we're finally going to get Katsumi shown as someone on the higher tiers of the Bucky-verse. Someone definitely above the likes of Doppo and Goki for an example. As some people in the fandom still think Doppo is stronger than Katsumi, however when you consider the narrative for Katsumi, this doesn't really make the most sense, especially if you read every fight and every interaction you've seen from Katsumi and Doppo in the series. The whole purpose of Katsumi is to surpass Doppo and be the new and improved Doppo, then on top of that to also bring forward Retsu and his legacy in the story as well. We even had Katsumi pretty much knock out Doppo in the pickle arc as well as a little side thing. So Katsumi is above the likes of Doppo Rochi, especially now. You could even say that he is the strongest karate master in 500 years at only 21 years old. This was just stated during the pickle arc for an example. And then to the people who like to say Goki is stronger than Doppo, which I agree with. But Katsumi should also be above Goki now as well, as prior to getting Retsu's arm, we actually got a scene of them two sparring with one another. And very clearly, it showed Katsumi outplaying Goki to some degree. Yes, he almost fell to the ground, but he was able to land this kick on Goki and then pretty much started laughing. So one arm Katsumi being able to outplay Goki to some degree is of course very impressive. Then add on top of that, Retsu's arm and of course his potential as well. But that's everything for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Check out all the other stuff in the description if you haven't already. But that's it guys. Peace.